Hi, in this tutorial um, I will show you how to set up your grid in Softimage to match the one in UDK. First I'll run through it quickly for those who know it already, then after that I'll explain what everything is and why. Now I already have uh, Softimage open here. All right. Um, so just to run through it really quick, you hit Control shift s and then it pulls up the visibility options of all cameras. Go to floor grid setup, type 16, tab 16, 16, 16, and just uh, do a, a big number. Let's do 512. All right, bam. There you go. You have your grid set up to match with UDKs. And again, I'll explain why those numbers are what they are. And I'm just going to. Um, make a cube I'm going to match that up with the same size as the default default robot in UDK. Let's see. Alright. And hit F12. Focus all. And go to my front view. I'm going to scale this. And let's do this. How about uh, two blocks there? Let's pull it up a little bit. Scale this up. See so what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just a little bit more. Oh, W is the wrong key. Five, six, a little bit more. All right. Actually, I could have just grabbed these points instead of scaling it. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's make sure that this is good on the other side. As I thought, it is not shaving. just pull that out. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Uh, I don't know why my block's black right now. I'll fix that later. Uh, yours should be gray, by the way, so don't don't worry about that. I'll go over this in detail in just a bit. Um, overwrite this file. I'll go over those settings in a bit as well. Pull up UDK. Content browser, oh, right, import, box test, and uh, package boxes, okay, alright, and drop that in there, and then I'm going to get the default robot, where's that sucker, right there, alright, as you can see, they match up pretty darn well. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit taller, but it, it's exactly where I, I, I put it in Softimage. Alright, so that's that. Now I'll go back and explain what I just did for those of you who don't know. Alright, so to get to the Control Shift S menu, the I guess more legitimate way is to go to, oh uh, gosh, where is that thing? I rarely use this. All right, display, and then look down at visibility options, and you'll see right there it says Control Shift S. I recommend memorizing that because you will probably be using it a lot if you um, are, are uh, if you work in the, the art department and have to use Softimage. All right. And then it pulls up the the menu, and the reason why I set these all to 16 um, is because that is the default grid size for UDK. If you'll look right here near the bottom right, you'll see this little grid icon, and then the number 16. That right there 
my friends, is exactly why I put 16. Um, it's that simple. Unreal units, or UDK units, or whatever, are 1 to 1 ratio to Softimage units as well as Maya and 3DS Max, I believe. I'm not exactly sure, but it's the same with Softimage. Um, yes, and uh, I usually match up to 16. You're more than welcome to match it up with the 8 or 32. For instance, if we use the 32, you see that the player is three of these squares tall, roughly. It's actually a little bit shorter. Then all you have to do is just type 32 in each of these. Now to go over what this, these two numbers, like the difference between these two numbers and these two numbers is explained right here and here. The U cell size and V cell size I don't, I'm not sure exactly which direction is U and which one's V, but one is one way and one's the other. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. Uh, this, uh, but these two together define um, the grid size or the, the grid lines. Like if I type 16 here, you'll notice that uh, we start getting these rectangles. Like let's, let's exaggerate. Let's do 50 and let's do 10. As you can see, there are more lines going this way than there are going this way. And the, the numbers on the right side are the snap size. And this matters because if you were to go over here to the right of, the, of Softimage and go to grid snap and turn that on, um, depending on what you have right here, is where objects are going to snap to and you would probably want things to snap to the grid that you can see and not the one that you can't see so make sure that these match this um, and then the floor size it's really an arbitrary number I like to keep it at 512 or maybe 1024 if I'm doing a big scene or whatever but really it's arbitrary Just you just have to make it bigger than what you're working with. I mean, you can even make it 32, and you can see that it only goes 32 units from the origin of the of the stage. But again, I like it at 512. Okay, and then to go over making a box and matching it to whatever size you need it to be. Obviously, hopefully, you've already been. Uh, you've taken Softimage where like you've uh, had your first modeling class before and you've learned how to create a cube. Um, I usually don't mess with this menu very much, but I mean you can. I think um, I'm actually going to try this. I'm going to put the length of the cube at 1. And if I'm correct, that should mean that um, the cube is 1 unit long. So if I were, I did this last time. This is a this is a risky move here, but I go to the scale and if I type 32, 96, 32, then this should be the exact height right here, the 96. It should be the height of the player. Let me just go to the front view just to double check. Control shift s all right I'm working with the 32s so that means let me go back here put it on 32 okay cool it's at 32 player is one two three blocks tall let me just make sure my block here is that tall as well and it indeed is it's perfectly at 96 huh, imagine that oops cool beans Alright, so all we have to do now is export this sucker. Alright, so you you highlight it, go to File, Export, Export FBX. Now the reason why we're doing FBX instead of OBJ or whatever is because UDK takes FBX. I believe it takes another uh, file type, but 
um, we're going to be working with FBX today. All right, I'm going to replace the box test dot FBX here. Replace the existing box test. Yes. All right. It opens up this new menu. These are all the preferences and settings for exporting the FBX object. Now you want to make sure that this is checked on selection only, and then you can embed textures and whatever the heck that is. Um, I leave them unchecked because you're going to be wanting to um, import your own texture maps for the models anyways. And then this is really important is the version. Depending on the version of UDK you are working with um, will determine what FBX plugin year you will be exporting as. I am working with UDK 2012 and it requires FBX plugin 2012. If I did not do 2012 it would yell at me and say hey it's not 2012 you need to fix it and, I, and then I would say okay and then I would cry about it and then I'd go fix it. Alright next one include uh, you want to include the geometry yeah that's pretty good it's probably a good idea hard edges sure cameras and lights eh let's keep it off although this should not matter because you do not have anything else selected you, um, yeah, it won't let me pull up the explorer right now so whatever but you should only have the selection the exporting and even if these were checked on it should not matter but I like to check them off just to be safe animation again I didn't put any animation on this so it doesn't really matter if they're checked or not but let's uncheck them just for kicks and giggles and to be safe too as well alright scale factor keep it at one please keep it at one do not mess this up keep that checked and keep this warnings checked as well you like to know when when there are errors that is that is helpful click OK alright cool let's go over to UDK just to double check this get rid of that box when we've got more pull up the content browser oh turn off the filter gonna delete this old one delete force yes to all import box test blah 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 make sure it's in your right package then also make sure that this says static mesh not skeletal mesh has to be a static mesh okay alright and then you drag and drop that sucker bam there you go that's how you do it it's right where I wanted it to be um that uh, about wraps it up alright thank you very much have a good day bye